but you didn't know it could do that. What I have here in my hand is the wide angle lens attachment. We finally got an attachment for the Sony ZV-1. Now, when the Sony ZV-1 was released, it was supposed to be the ultimate beginner's camera, take it out of the box, point and shoot, vlogger friendly. The, the camera is literally marketed as a vlogger camera. There's a vlogger kit that comes with it. All right, so I just pushed record on the Sony ZV-1 and it definitely crops in slightly once you've pushed record as opposed to you just taking a picture. So depending on your intentions of the use of this camera, once you take it out of the box, whether it be for vlogging, use as your primary camera, maybe as a secondary camera just for um, certain motion shots, that will all depend on how much you're okay with the cropping in and out. The main thing that vloggers wanna do is they wanna walk around and so you're able to see the background behind them. So when you're vlogging and you can only see so much behind me, it kind of changes your idea of what is actually going on in the scene or the setting behind me. Put on a wide angle lens that definitely changes the vision of what you're getting on camera. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test out the Ulanzi or Ulanzi wide angle lens attachment for the Sony ZV-1. Let's see if it distorts any of the picture quality, if it changes any of the 4K imagery, does it keep things in focus, out of focus, anything like that. So. Let's get into it. I purchased this on Amazon for about $70. I've already opened it up out of the box. We have the one piece that is going to attach to the, the camera itself around the lens, and that's a little adhesive uh, piece on the back there, and that's just gonna go directly onto the lens. We have the lens cover itself that just comes off and on. There's an additional cover on the back for when this is not in use and not attached to the camera. And then it divides off into a macro lens. And there's your macro 52 millimeter lens. And of course we have the actual wide angle lens that will attach to the macro lens. And that is what we're going to use to kind of get that wide angle view with the Sony ZV-1. Without me even putting the adhesive on here, I just want to show you very quickly what this looks like with me just placing this on here. You can definitely see it opens up my space a little bit more. Look at the plant behind me on this side as well. See how much more space there is in between the wall. And then when I remove it, the plant basically becomes directly at the side of the frame. Now I'm not gonna go outside at this moment just because I am in Canada, it's pretty cold, but at least in my house, you can see the view a little bit more behind me. So you can see more of my couch behind me, more of the pillow decor, stuff like that. Whereas if I did not have this attachment on the Sony ZV-1, you would not be able to see nearly as much of a background behind me. So I am very much enjoying that. And I love how this looks like it actually, it doesn't, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> It's not distorting any colors at all within the Sony ZV-1. This does have really great color correction kind of built into it. The other great thing too right now, since I'm vlogging, I can actually bring this camera in a little bit closer to me because you can still see more of my background. And I'm actually using the onboard camera with the dead cat attached to the Sony ZV-1. And you're able to, I hope, hear the audio quality a little bit better because I'm able to bring the camera in closer and you're able to see more around me. Whereas before, if the lens was not attached, I'm kind of filming a little bit further out so you can get a wider angle. That's kind the same effect but the camera mic is now a little bit further away from me so it might distort the audio a little bit wow and can we just appreciate how much better the tight space in this hallway looks with the wide angle lens attachment it just changes things i just think it looks 10 times better you can see more and as you can probably see as i'm walking around my house the lighting definitely changes depending on the room that you're going into i'm going to go into the bathroom right now where there's typically more yellow lighting and i just wanted to show you how much of the color distortion is not really changed with the wide angle lens attachment on at all so i'm very, very happy with that. <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to say about the wide angle lens. Overall, I'm very pleased with this. Um, I will link it in the description box below, the Amazon link for the Canadian and American uh, link to the Ulanzi Ulanzi wide angle lens attachment for the Sony ZV-1. I am noticing a decent amount of weight added to my arm just by holding this. So if you are gonna be walking around vlogging, just keep that in mind. I did just attach the Sony ZV-1 to the vlogger kit tripod that came with the Sony ZV-1 one and it doesn't seem to be causing any issue with unbalancing the tripod at all or make, making you want to tilt if you do want to watch two five quick minute videos about my thoughts on the sony zv1 both nine reasons why you should buy the sony zv1 and nine reasons you should not buy the sony zv1 click here i'll link them here um let's try out the macro lens actually and see how that performs and then the macro lens of course is just going to be for extra extra super close 
uh, shots that you might want to have. Another thing I had mentioned in my nine reasons to not buy the Sony ZV-1 is that I didn't find that the camera itself took very good photos close up when you were zooming in, in comparison actually to my iPhone XR uh, while shooting in 4K. I prefer to use the 4K and it might just be user error, I can admit that. Um, or simplicity of the iPhone just because I've had it for so many years, but I just didn't find that the Sony ZV-1 uh, camera matched up to those very close um, photos that I might have wanted. So I'm gonna try that out right now. Let's go ahead and take off the wide angle lens. So this is just the macro lens right now, and it seems like the camera's having a little trouble just focusing on an object. So it's very blurry on the screen here right now. But as I focus in on one particular object, let's go into the plant here, you can see that it definitely focuses in a lot more. And just so we know, I have taken off the auto defocus in the background, so it's not going to blur it out too much now. But I am still noticing a little bit of blurred on the right side there. I don't know if you guys are picking that up in the frame at all. This is the furthest that the zoom goes with the Sony ZV-1 with the macro lens attached to it. That's about as clear as a picture as we're going to get. And let me just actually screw off just so we can get an idea of how good the zoom would have been without this lens attachment. Now, I don't know if it's because I've moved or not, but you can see that the three pieces of the plant that are at the most forefront of the frame are a lot more blurry than what is in the background. And again, this is the most zoomed that the Sony ZV-1 can be. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. You can see a little bit more focus there as we zoom out. And then as we continue to zoom out, obviously it gets a little bit more focused. Like I had mentioned before, the Sony ZV-1 is not my favorite for um, taking pictures or videos at a super zoomed in level, just because I feel like it distorts it a little bit. But if you do want to use this for taking pictures at all, I don't see any reason why you could not use the macro lens with a little bit of the help of the Sony ZV-1 for zooming in to take more detailed photos. Macro lens and without. So it definitely makes a difference to get that more zoomed in photo. I'm overall very, very pleased with how this lens performs with the Sony ZV-1. It's like I keep saying, it's not distorting any of the image quality. It's not distorting any of the colors. Um, you can definitely see a lot more in my background. So I think I definitely will continue using this lens while I'm doing my primary videos and not just only for vlogging, just because it, it gives a bit of a nicer uh, background touch, I think. So let me know what your comments are below. Have you tried out the Sony ZV-1 and the wide angle lens attachment specifically? How are you liking it? How are you not liking it? Anyways, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.